back to yet another game in the ever-expanding farming genre. This game is a strategy game, believe it or not. It is very, very basic, although it's incredibly addictive. So it's very similar to a game that came out a lot earlier, I think, last year. And it was very, very fun. It was like a almost like a role-playing game, almost. You got to level up all your vehicles and uh, you got to build up your own empire. Now, this game is also published and created by Excalibur Publishing who have published games like Euro Truck Sim and Farming Simulator 2011. So they definitely know what they're doing. This game is very similar to Postmaster. If you've played that game, then you'd know about this, I'm sure. And uh, you'd see some very big similarities. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and play the campaign and I'm not gonna be playing on Australia, believe it or not, uh, because uh, being very hot and dry for most of the year, only a seasoned farmer will succeed here. I am no seasoned farmer, unfortunately, but Spain is pretty good for us. Many fruits and berries thrive in these conditions. And that's what we're going to go for. Everything else, I don't really care about. Obviously, I'm going to be playing on easy because, believe it or not, I've actually lost a lot of times uh, just playing this. So, what I'm going to do now is, firstly, well, this is our city that we have over here. And now we're competing against the AI. And the way you win is whoever's got the most land space at the end of the game. So I guess if one of you goes bankrupt or something like that, whoever's got the most land space wins. In the meantime though, let's go ahead and uh, choose a nice little place for our farm. I think that's pretty good. And I'm gonna buy this outright, yes. Now the max limit they can get is 200. So 200 tiles that is. Thankfully this isn't no 200 tiles or anything. This is quite small, quite, uh, yeah, quite small. So of course, what you got to do when you've got land, you've got to go ahead and plow it. You're gonna rent these vehicles, get them to do their thing. I like the little images of the vehicles. They do look pretty cool. Go ahead and speed him up to do his own thing. As you can imagine this game does get rather repetitive if this is all you're doing, but there's a fair few things that you can do. I think there's even animals that you can grow. Well, not grow, but keep. Um, so, we want to increase the yield as much as we can. So, I'm gonna bring out some fertilizer now. Also, I'll turn on automatic watering. Okay, now we need to buy some seeds, but all the trees are locked at the moment. So you have to go over into the farmer's center, go into the seeds, plants and trees. And now what I'm looking for is because this game, for whatever reason, uses American uh, time or date, the date system, which is incredibly idiotic. Why do you guys have it month, day, then year? It should be just in an ascending order, day, month, year, anyways. Uh, so we need to have a look at when the crops will start growing. So thankfully almond trees will start growing right now. But things like, let's see, apricot trees, we'd have to wait 11 months for that to actually grow out. So we definitely don't want that. So what I'm gonna go for is a nice easy crop. Blackberries, they can grow whenever they want. So obviously that's what we're gonna go for, nice and simple. So now that we've bought the crop, or the seeds, unlock that, buy them for 720 euro and rent out a basic planter. We'll start planting. Now the images for each and every uh, plant is also different, which is quite cool. It's not all the same. It's a very nice and simple game. It's quite small actually. I think it's only like 100 megabytes or so, but it is very, very fun. All right. So, if we speed things up, you'll be able to see the different stages of the crop. So, we've sown it. There's five days left of that stage. And the seedlings should, yeah, we go. 60 days. The bloom, maturing, and, well, sorry, ripening, maturing, and then we can harvest it. Obviously, you want to harvest it when it says harvest and not when it's overripe. All these other bars, this shows us the uh, soil quality. 
This is just a monthly summary. Soil quality is pretty damn good. I just want to go ahead and protect against diseases. So in the seedling phase and then the blooming phase as well, we got to use pesticides. And because we're using organic pesticides, no synthetic fertilizer or spray, we also have an organic crop, which I'd imagine would pay a lot better. Next up, we just got to wait the 12 days. Watch our money burn. I don't really get this point of the game. Like, there's a lot of waiting about. Where are we? I'm pretty sure it would have been the same in Postmaster. Now, this guy, I think what he would have done is he would have rented out this field. Because he can rent it out. Maybe that's, like, the strategy to go about in this game. Ooh. Seems like disease has attacked the crop. A little bit of it. All our protection has not worked. I guess I haven't really used... Did I use that in the blooming phase? I'm sure I would have. 28 days. And it's got to mature. And then we'll be good. When you could zoom in more, I think these like little black bits, if you can only just see them are where it's diseased. So it's not bad at all. Okay, you're all done here. 10 more days. Now we've got to mature and then finally we'll be able to harvest it and make some of that moolah back. These are our grain silos, which we can store our food in. We've got two garage slots. We actually haven't bought any vehicles, which is probably a good thing. Here we go. Now it's maturing. We've got to wait until it goes 100%. get 9.7 tons of blueberries which hopefully will pay off quite well because after all we are playing on easy so hopefully we end up with more than twenty thousand dollars that'll be quite nice and we can go ahead and uh, get another field maybe rent one out this time okay now it should go into harvest modes oh, here we go we can harvest the crop um we are just going to get the they, their harvesting efficiency is 90%. These guys are 100%. But they cost more as well. Now, we get an extra star because uh, we've finished the crop. We've started harvesting. Now, that, that's because it's night. You can't really see, but the people are harvesting. Here we go. I think there was a way that you could get rid of the box that would really help us out but alas there isn't a way that you can do that let's continue getting all this field there we go go ahead and rinse that guy out for a thousand dollars and now what we can do is go to the market okay now in our silos in our warehouses uh, we've got the blueberries 8.7 tons if i put this all the way over here Look at that. We sell this off at the markets. The market price is 4,700. Well, anyway, it ends up being 41,000 euros. So that's pretty good. Now that we've got that much money to muck around with, uh, we can definitely buy some much bigger fields. So let's go to that. Oh, no. Um, you know what, actually? I wouldn't mind that a nice tarmac road and unfortunately we derped up with the uh, placement of you want me to do it like so there we go ah, let's do that it's costing us a bit of money but that's all right now we can expand our fields quite a bit uh, let's see what do we want we want to rent or buy land We'll leave a space for a road down the middle. And I'll go for... I'd love to know... I don't think the game just lets you have more than 200 squares. Which is a shame. Anyways, um, I am happy with that. Am I? No, we want it smaller. 
18,000 yo that's good enough that's actually very good all right so next up oh we're playing on a pause game that's no good we want to reset the land with plowing obviously rent someone then we'll start buying some vehicles after this in the meantime though once they're doing that maybe speed things up a little bit no. don't want to be playing that fast why can i not use fertilizer you can use fertilizer oh the land is already fertilized that's why all right, so over here, let's just go back with the, um, is it blackberries? Yes, it is blackberries. All right, rent that vehicle out. Whereas over here, let's go find some other crops that we might like to start off with. Uh, it's the month of uh, August. Let's see if there's something in September, maybe. That we can have some fun with. I guess you need to get special cars for this stuff as well. So I'm not really, I just want manual work. Maybe go with some potatoes. Potatoes sound good. Okay. Let's hope we've got everything done correctly. Okay. Let's go potatoes over here, which is over in P. What do you know? Get that 585 euros, rent out a vehicle, do our dirty work for us. All right, now it's just a waiting game, really. Yes, I know my farm is okay. Obviously, you got to rinse and repeat everything. Make our guys fertilize the well, spray pesticides during both phases, so nothing too bad happens. Oh, we had some diseases growing there, though. Try to fix that up real quick. It's 103.2 tons. Going down quite a bit. All right, and of course, if you run out of money, you actually lose the game, but you can take out one loan. So, if you want to take out a loan, you're more than welcome to. And we can do it right now if we'd want to, although we might have to. Money is a little bit short. Hopefully it's not too short. How many more days until the next phase, the blooming phase? Six days here. Yeah, and they're gonna to want to get sprayed pretty soon. Yeah, this guy wants to get sprayed now. Let's give him that liberty. That fight field wants to get sprayed. Oh, we've got diseases over here now. I guess potatoes get a lot of diseases. Now this is down to 90 tons yields. That's the best that we can do, which isn't that bad at all. Now we just got to wait for it to ripen. Oh, it's snow. In, I guess it is Spain though, but still. I thought Spain's summers get really hot, so you'd expect at least their winter to stay warm. Uh, potatoes last a little bit longer though, I guess. We're losing a lot of uh, money here. Well, a lot of our crop. I guess because it's the snow season, isn't it? And then, okay, that's definitely why that's the case. Uh, because it's snowing and the crops aren't meant to be in such cold temperature. We did have a look at uh, the different crops that you can get. There's a, um, like a temperature gauge and it shows you like how, or what type of climate they're supposed to be in. It's quite painful to watch our crop die like so and there's nothing that i'm able to do about it and then again i haven't really played this game that much so i'm still learning oh. uh, we're growing here finally 
I definitely don't want to reset the land. I'd love it if, uh, here we go. Summer's almost over. Oh, oh, oh. Rip. What we're going to have to do is take out a rather big loan. Take one for 30,000 for three years. Okay, accept that loan. Alright, so what is it now? It's February again. Alright, so we started off in February a year ago in game time. So I would assume that summer should be coming. Well, it shouldn't be. Uh, so. Not looking forward to this uh, yield. Got another start. This guy's got a long way to go. They've got to mature and all. Uh, they've done that whole field? I guess they have. In sleeping period, 21 days. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure they don't grow back. Even though these are trees, I'm gonna do is just slow it back down. Let's go to the markets. Sell the crop that we managed to get then, which is nowhere near as good as it was before, but it has to do. And okay, now thankfully it is summer now, so that's that. Let's go to the farmer's center, buy some maybe some more crops yet again. a lemon tree. How's that sound? That sounds pretty good. All right, so oh, let's go ahead and uh, get a, us a new field again. Like so. Thank you. We want to plow that field. Spray it with some organic fertilizer. I wonder what happens when this is complete, the sleeping period. Here we go, finally. Oh, okay. Thankfully, they grow out pretty quick. Most of that crop is dead, though. Um, now, you guys. Where's the lemon? I almost forgot about you, and it would have been over. Red Rover. Okay. At least planting the lemon seeds and all. Oh, come on. We'll evolve during this period, 180 days. I guess we need to wait up a little bit. Um, this ain't, these are not ready yet. I don't understand why they, they had that sleeping phase. Crop has no hibernate phase. Which I guess we wasted time then. Uh, let's go rent your services out. Thank you. Okay. Harvest this. And there goes that lady. Of course, we want to use some fertilizer around here. Don't really want to buy any vehicles just yet. I'm still in a rather precarious position because we've got to pay back a lot of things. We bought this field and all. all right. Obviously, winter can strike again, which isn't very fun. Uh, so, okay. Wait for that guy to be done. I'm so tempted to buy him, but I won't. I'll just rent his services out. And now I guess it's just a waiting game. Yet again, the farm is okay. I'm pretty sure potatoes grow back though, don't they? It's a root vegetable. Which I think that means that uh, it'll grow back in the 14 days. Let's see what will happen. Mm. 
No, it's got no hibernate phase. Uh, I have to send someone out over here then, I guess, to go work on that field. They have done because we're playing at such a fast pace. And let's grow some more potatoes. I really should slow it down. That's probably my problem because I play in such a fast pace. Let's go over to, where are we? If I know my alpha get, alphabet, you should be down here. There we go. In 22 days for this guy. I so I guess that's not when they start growing. It's like, okay, it's so confusing. I guess that's when they actually finish harvesting, so when they're ready to be harvested. All right, we're doing quite well. As long as winter doesn't strike again, which I've got no doubt it will. Potatoes take a, quite a while to be finished as well and to grow out. I hope winter doesn't destroy our lemon crop. How much is this guy on? He's just got that one field. It's like he took out a massive loan or something. He's growing peppers out. Good on him, I say. Ah, we're at 90. Oh, oh, we don't have enough money for anything, really. Uh, to water the grounds, we don't have enough water. Oh, God. All right, so we're going to lose this now. God damn it. We've lost. We've lost. We've done too much, too quickly. This is how you lose, folks. And they just keep on telling us we don't have enough money to uh, water the fields. So let's turn that off. Yeah, I don't know, crops are gonna die. But I don't have enough money to do anything with it. Oh god, this is so painful. I don't have any more money. Let's go to the market. Oh, what? Oh, we do have potatoes. Sorry. Oh. Okay, that wasn't painful. That was painful that I forgot. Okay, it's not too bad a thing. Let's give him water then. There we go. Soil quality isn't all that good over here. It's only 62% though. This field is just about to be ready. Yes, yes, I know I'm making money. That's what I like to see in here, at least. This is just about to harvest now as well. Oh, oh no, no, not ready to harvest yet. Now you are though. Go ahead and get our basic worker group. Collect the stars. And we are about done with the very first episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is very interesting, this game. I must say, it's uh, obviously not the uh, most uh, budgeted game. It's not really budgeted for, like, there's not a massive AAA budget behind it. But it is very addictive for what it is. It's very, very fun. Definitely, definitely be playing a lot more of it. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. We'll be back very shortly with some more.